Okay, so when you punch, make sure that it's a solid punch. Okay, none of this gayness and this, you know, kind of this type of shit. Make sure that it's a solid Munetsky punch right to the solar plexus. If you hit me, you hit me. You know, I haven't eaten a beef sandwich. I'm not going to take a shit or anything. So just make sure you punch really strong. Okay, go ahead. Good. Harder. Like more resistance. More resistance. The fuck, dude? You're going to make me look bad on this video. Oh, fuck. You recording? Oh. Uh, uh, hi, Lenny Sly, RoboRTC.com. Welcome back to another video. This is Aikido, the way that doesn't work, episode four. Yeah, since the cat's already out of the bag. Um, this video is on Munetsuki Hijinage. <coughs> so, as you probably just saw, didn't know that Rod hit the record button already, um, which is fine. <coughs> that attack is a joke. It's it's taught a lot in traditional Aikido, Munetsuki punches solar plexus. I mean, you've probably heard me say this many a times. How does it go? People don't punch your belt, they punch your face. Exactly. <clears throat> you're gonna get that close to somebody and you're gonna punch them with Munetsuki, trying to hit him in the solar plexus. It's definitely not gonna be the way how Bob just demonstrated that, okay? It's a joke. That punch is complete bullshit. Nobody punches like that in the real world. I understand the traditional side. There's a lot to learn from, from strikes like that, just like we talked about with the Yokonuchi Shionage and even the, the Katadori Ikkyo technique. You know, there's much better ways of learning, you know, groundedness, stability, control, all that stuff. Munetsuki is not one of those techniques that you're gonna benefit a lot of basic fundamental skills from because of the way how it's executed, the way how it's trained. You know, Bob brought up something um, earlier today, and it's not so much that Aikido doesn't work, okay? <clears throat> Even though we're pretty much showing that and how a lot of these traditional techniques don't work, it's more along the lines of how the attack is performed and the unrealistic attacks and whatnot. And I, I've read a lot of comments on people saying, well, the attack is the vehicle to get you to another place. You know, the, the, there's a much bigger picture behind the scenes with stuff. Yeah, there is, but when you're training that way, you're not gonna get that big picture because people get all caught up into the, you know, the whole love, peace, and harmony, you know, uh, sunshine and cuddles, you know, Aikido shit. I mean, the attacks are just, it's, they're just unrealistic. They're unpractical in the real world, okay? No one's ever gonna punch your stomach like that. They're not gonna walk forward and sit there and do this. You know, they're not gonna be like this and doing, you know, doing this, you know, trying to punch you and stutter step. They don't do that shit. It's, it's up close and personal, okay? It's a close quarter battle type of strike. You know, you don't see MMA people striking people in the gut like that. It's always close this body shot, and it's usually a hook. If it's a straight in body shot, it's because they might get tangled up and they have to punch that way because that is what present, you know, that's the, the what's there for them, the opportunity. It presents itself, so there's the body strike. They definitely don't step forward and throw that hand out there. So Bob came up with the idea of doing Munetsuki Hijinage. And great technique to do the fourth installment of this this series on <clears throat> because it's just not effective it really isn't from the traditional side I, okay with a compliant with a compliant uke you know you moving in and applying this yeah same side you know you're moving in with this that hijinage technique good ukemi skills it's good for cardio it's good for all of that stuff Okay, it's good exercise, but the reality is, he's not going to start from over there. If I had him in this position here, this is where that straight Munetsky would come in with this hand. Okay, punch with that hand. That's where the Munetsky would come in. It makes more sense for that. But how am I going to get to the opposite side or to the outside of that arm when that punch comes in? It's going to be, oh, it's not going to happen. And I'm going to barf muscle milk all over him. Okay? It's just not real. But when it's done from the traditional side of stuff, and you're, you're, and you're moving in, 
Even this single arm, this is a fucking joke. This single arm technique, that's a joke, okay? This single arm, real simple. He can resist that right from here. No way. In a million fucking years, is that going to work? Never. Never. He punches seriously. Even with a leg sweep, that's going to be hard to do. And he's going to end up punching me with the other hand before I know it. Why? Because my focus is on this. My focus is trying to get this to work. He turns his hips to the left. Oh, shit. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. And it's not going to be one. Because once he hits you once, he's going to hit you a second time, a third time, a fourth time, a fifth time. And before you know it, you're laying in a puddle of blood on the ground with an ineffective Munetsky Hijinage. It doesn't work. Period. So again, it goes back to our constant argument of why training something that doesn't work. If you're doing the technique for movement, for stability, for perfecting your, your eating Tenkan movement, there are much, much better methods of training within the Aikido system to cultivate those skills. This technique is not one of them. Plain and simple, it's not, okay? What's even worse than this is actually a Riminage. Unless you're doing an emote, in the way how we do Riminage, because you're gonna take that shot right across the face, okay? But to sit there and do the traditional side of this, to get behind them and spin them, you know, break their kazushi and take them down to the ground and next thing you know, here's this big, you wake up, wake up. You need a, you know, a double shot of espresso in your Starbucks coffee because that technique does not work, period. And we'll eventually get to a Riminage and that's gonna be a huge eye opener for a lot of people because the fact that we're gonna destroy the workings of that technique so bad that you guys are gonna to have to have a crate full of Kleenex to try to wipe away the tears because of all you guys out there that have been practicing that form of a Riminage for so many years, there's no way you can get somebody to move like that that isn't gonna escape from it and do a single leg takedown and drag your ass, drag your ass down to the ground and pound the shit out of you. That video is coming up soon. But Munetsky, okay, just the idea of this movement, Okay, see he's given this kind of half modern but half bullshit attack. What if he doesn't stop? And he just throws the punch right from there. Okay, fast punch. I can't even get close enough. And, and if he pulls back and retracts, that hand follows up. Boom! I get nailed. Doesn't work. Even if he steps, punches, and pulls back, okay, I'm getting hit. Do it again. Right? Nope, never gonna happen. Never gonna happen. Right? It's never gonna happen, fucker. It's never gonna happen. It doesn't work. You can't do it. How many of you guys out there that are gonna comment on this video and go, well, if you have a non-compliant, okay, that's gonna, that's gonna punch you for real, you know, he's not resisting you. I've already heard that on the second video. Really? Okay, I, I warned you guys in the very first video, okay, that I was going to be tearing apart traditional Aikido technique to show you guys what works, what doesn't work. Well, the what works stuff is actually coming later, much later. I'm more focused on what doesn't work. And you guys want to critique me on what I'm doing, but here's the funny thing. You're critiquing me on your own shit on your own Aikido technique, the stuff that you guys regularly practice, you're critiquing me on telling me that I'm doing it wrong. The funny thing is, you must have drank a whole punch bowl of blue Kool-Aid because you're so fucking delusional to think that I'm doing it wrong. How is that wrong? The way how he's punching, how is that wrong? Because it doesn't fall within the spirit of Aikido and the way how you guys train, okay? It doesn't fall in the spirit of anything but a bucket of bullshit, okay? Because that is not how it's done in the real world. Nobody really punches you like that. No one. You heard, Bob. People don't punch your belt. They punch your face. And if they're going to punch your belt, they're going to punch your gut. 
they're gonna be close enough to make contact and it's gonna be so close that you're never gonna be able to pull off that movement to get the hijinage. Not in a million years and I don't care who you are. I don't care what Shihan ranking you have. I don't care who you train under. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, if I can't do it, you'll never be able to do it. Never. Okay? I'm like the master Ken of Aikido on YouTube. This is bullshit. That doesn't work. You know, Aikido's bullshit. This is bullshit. This technique is completely, utterly worthless. There's no point in even continuing going on with this video to show you how it doesn't work because I already showed you a half dozen times from different angles, different perspectives of striking. It doesn't work. Can you make this technique work? Why not? For all the reasons you stated, unrealistic attack. But with all your vast years of experience in Aikido, you couldn't make this work if I punched you? Maybe, Probably not. Maybe if you were nice. It just doesn't work. Okay? Now I understand that when you're training in a dojo and you're not the chief instructor, okay, I don't have to answer to anybody. So I can shit in everyone's cornflakes all day long because I'm gonna suffer zero consequences in the Aikido world. No one's gonna come here, no Aikido police is gonna come here and arrest me for exposing the truth behind what doesn't work, okay? I don't gotta worry about nothing. But some of you guys that are affiliated with big organizations and you have a Shihan that oversees that organization, the last thing that you're gonna do is shit the bet. You're not gonna sit there and expose why this doesn't work, why that doesn't work, because you have to keep within the realm of what is being taught within your organization. And that's preserving Osensei's Aikido. Well, the preservation of Osensei's Aikido is extremely outdated and it's a waste of time to preserve something that doesn't work. Why would you preserve it? Okay, it's good for exercise. exercise. You know, it's good to have in your little library of traditional Aikido techniques. It's like, how many people still play with Nintendo? Nintendo's outdated. It's a great collector's item, and it's worth a lot of money for people that are collectors of that, but who plays that anymore? It's everyone's doing PS4 or whatever. Nobody's gonna play around with that bullshit. The technology's old, it's weak, it's outdated. The graphics suck, okay? It's not like some of the other games that are out there. Can you imagine if Nintendo came up with having the technology that it had back then, if they had to come up with um, Call of Duty number 25, with the technology that they had, do you think that game would sell a lot? Probably not, because it sucks. You know, Pac-Man and stuff, great game for that system. But with the technology that we have today, you're never gonna get that quality with that particular game piece, Nintendo, you're next, with that whatever you wanna call it, that device. You're not gonna get that. You're gonna be limited, just like you're limited here. Munetsuki Kodagai, or excuse me, yeah, that's a different thing. Munetsuki Hijinage, you're not going to get any of that. And like I said, if you're not a chief instructor and you're training at someone's dojo and you're practicing this technique, you're going to, typically you're going to do what the teacher shows because that's what you normally do etiquette wise. Whatever the sensei demonstrates, you do your best of your ability to do exactly what he demonstrated by mimicking his movement. And Unfortunately, it's the sensei's job to evolve the training, evolve the teachings, and be able to present something that's gonna work and something that's gonna effectively work. And uh, unfortunately, everybody is failing at it. You know, I, it's still, again, I, am, I keep reiterating, but it's like, I don't see anything changing. Not that I plan on seeing anything change, because I don't see, a, I don't really think there's a lot of people out there that have the balls to make things change. Um, because they don't want the backlash. And I get it. So you guys are gonna die with six, seven degree black belts and your Aikido's gonna suck and you're gonna get your ass kicked in heaven anyways. So it doesn't really matter, okay? Change your Aikido to make it work for today, okay? That's what you need to be able to do because that technique, that form of attack isn't gonna happen the way that it happens in the dojo. And again, I'll reiterate, people are gonna say, well, that is, our method of training and that leads to the bigger picture. You guys haven't even seen the bigger picture yet because you haven't even figured this out. Because if you did, you wouldn't be doing it anymore. Everybody's still trying to figure out how to make 
Munetsuki Hijinage work. Dojo setting, you guys got it down pat. And what you guys got is something that doesn't work. To see the bigger picture of this, to go, you know what, Bob? Munetsuki Hijinage, that technique is bullshit. It doesn't work. Why do we train it? Good point, Len. We should stop doing this shit because it's garbage. How many of you are going to sit there and actually make that determination and stop doing it? How many of you senseis out there are going to look at that technique and go, it's a fucking waste of time. Why do we do this? When are you sensei's gonna question the shihans of the organization saying, why aren't you changing this stuff? Why are you trying to evolve it to make our Aikido practice better, to make it more effective? Even if it is on the spiritual love, peace, and harmony side, you can still do it, right? Prepare for the worst, hope for the best. Hopefully you'll never have to use this, but if you have to, you have an alternative way of making it work. If you don't have that alternative way and you train this way, what's the point? You're, you're wasting time on a technique that's, that's worthless. And notice how most techniques that I'm showing you right now are worthless. There are better alternatives to that. Way better alternatives. The first thing you gotta change is the vehicle that the attack is coming by and Munetsky is just, no. You know, look at MMA fighters, look at boxers. They are up close in your face. They are right there in your workspace. When they punch you, you can't deflect that. You can't move out of the way because it's short and explosive strikes and it's gonna hit its target 90% of the time when you're that close to somebody. Because that's the only way you're gonna pull off a sternum strike. That's it. You're never gonna do that. I, I'm gonna punch you. You're never gonna do that from here. This is never gonna work, never. I have to get this close to make this work, okay? He goes to Hijinage, make sure you throw. Throw, follow through, boy. Come on, come on. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> here it comes, here it comes. My top student, you can't make this work. Yeah, come on, dude. Same side. Doesn't that suck? Oh wait, I'm not resisting enough. Let me resist for real. I'm gonna resist for real. Am I resisting enough? Okay. Nah. See how it doesn't work? See how it doesn't work? Doesn't work. One more. Just in case they didn't see it. Doesn't work. There you have it. Again. Another successful video of Aikido the way that doesn't work. Muneski Hijinage. Hi, you want to So, if that wasn't convincing enough for you, then, uh, I don't know what else to do for you on that technique. It just doesn't work. If you like the video, hit a thumbs up. If you don't, hit a thumbs down. Leave a comment if you so choose to. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and hit the bell icon to the right of it so you get all the notifications of our next video of Aikido the way that doesn't work. This is a series. It's gonna be an ongoing series and I'm gonna keep showing you stuff that doesn't work in the traditional world of Aikido. So. That's it for me. See you next time on Aikido, the way that doesn't work. Later.